Hey, what's up guys? So, welcome to another video on Burnt Toast. We're gonna use it today to install one of my first mirror wiring kits. Something I can make on the bench, and possibly ship to you. I haven't decided if I wanna start making them. I don't know how much I'm gonna offer for them. I'm thinking 150 bucks without the fold relay. You need a fold relay, 75 bucks. This is a maybe, I haven't decided yet. I'm still installing the first one. So, if it goes smooth and I can knock them out quick, I might make them. So if I do, that's what you need to know. So if you do get one for me and I do make one for you, I'm about to tell you what you need to tell me, okay? Um, I don't need you to send me pictures of your mirrors. I mean, if you do, you know, whatever. Whatever, send me all the pictures, who cares? Um, so this truck's an O2, so I'm gonna show you what the O2's got. Um, if I have you build this, this is the first thing you guys need to tell me. What year is your truck, obviously, and what your truck's equipped with, okay? You know, some of these trucks come, you know, with nothing, a work truck, and then some of these trucks, I'm gonna try to get that sun out of there, come with adjustable mirrors, heat, and a turn signal. That's usually pretty much all the options for 99 to 07. Now, that's where the 07 guys might be shit out of luck. All right, so in from 99 to 2006, this is what your door jam little thing looks like. And basically, the body harness, you know, going all through the cab, you know, through the floor, you know, the back of the truck, the cab harness is all one piece, all the way through the doors. So basically, this cab harness comes down here, up to here, and through the door, you know, through the jam, all is one piece. Every door is a part of the cab harness, 99 to 06. The cool part about that is with this little rubber thing, we can run wires in and out the door all we want all day, baby. But in 07, Ford decided to put a connector on the cab. So basically what they they can do is they can assemble trucks a lot faster. So instead of, you know, the, you know, the truck sitting on the assembly line, they bolt the door in and someone has to feed the whole harness through there, plug it in, you know, assemble the latch, you know, basically the truck's at a halt on the assembly line versus they can build the door somewhere else and assemble them and have a harness already in the door. So basically when that truck comes down the assembly line, they can just bolt the door on and then they can just plug it in and it's on its merry way like that. So the problem with that is the plug takes the whole hole and you can't feed wires in and out all day, baby. The only way to properly do that would be we'd have to get more pins for these connectors on the female and male side. Your dash is gonna have to come out. Um, it, just, it sounds like a pain in the butt. And so right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to say, 07 guys are shit out of luck until I figure out something. So I think 07s are gonna be a total separate video. Now, 99 to 2006. So most of you 60 guys are okay. Most of you 06 guys got the, the, the old setup, which is good. Cause we can feed wires through these doors all day, baby. So um, now that we got that covered, just tell me what you got, okay? So this guy, you can see he's only got adjustable mirrors. He doesn't have heater turn signals. So that's gonna be something we're gonna have to add on his harness. Now, if your harness already has some of these features, we don't need to run those in the harness and run them through the truck. There's no point to run two wires through this truck. Just wasting both our time. So I'm gonna utilize most of the factory harness that I can if I build your harness, okay? And the other thing, this switch is from 99 to 04. We gotta, we're not gonna be able to use this one for the new switch. So we gotta cut and splice our new switch on. Now 05 to 07 guys have the new style switch and their shit should be plug and play. And it's probably just missing the fold wire. So keep that in mind, all right? So go ahead, build your harness. First step to what your truck you got and what options are on it, okay? Send me a picture of this. So, so then we know, okay? Um, other than that, um, these are what the plugs look like for O2 and up. In 99 to 01, guys, your plug is behind the speaker and it's a little white circle one. And if you got heat, there's another little black one next to it, okay? So let me know what you got. Send me a picture. You know, I probably already know what you got, but sometimes, sometimes you guys don't know what you got. So don't hurt to send me a picture. So now that we got that covered and I know what you got, now I can know what to build you. So. The next step, oh, there's a lot of info. Um, the next thing, next one is, how do you want your wiring harness to run? So today's case, what we're gonna do 
we're doing a dash swap. That is the perfect time to run a mirror harness. I'll tell you what, boy. So it's because I can run all the wiring through the door, come through the door jam, run it up and run it along the firewall to the other side. It's the most simplest way to run it. So that's one kit. I, if you're doing a dash swap or pulling your dash, that's the best time to get that kit. All right. Now the second kit, let's say you're not pulling your dash, you got stock interior and you just want full power mirrors because you tow and you, you, who don't want 08 and up mirrors? The second one is gonna be coming through the door jam. It's gonna be a pain in the butt to get your hand up in here and over here, but it's possible you can do it. Um, you don't gotta pull the dash and you can get your wires through here, through the, through the cab and you feed them down this door jam, down this way. Now if you notice, there's a wire tunnel under these seats. So we can run all our additional wires across this wire tunnel. So you're gonna have to take your seats out. That's gonna be the hardest part. That's better than pulling a dash. So get your seats out, pull your carpet back, run your wires here, run it across that way, run it back forward, run it up, and run it through that door jam right there. That's the second kit. So either behind the dash or under the seats, okay? Now the next option, the fold relay location, okay? When I do my dash swaps, I keep it in the factory 08 spot, right behind the headlight switch. Um, so, that, so there's your, your, your first position. Now the second position, let's say you're not doing the dash swap, and, or if you are, and you're running a column helper, the way Mr. Swap Helper has you run it, I don't think that full relay is gonna fit with the column helper. Column helper's taking up all the real estate, so now you have to relocate. So it's like, well, where are we gonna put it? So if a guy's not doing the dash swap and running a column helper, we're gonna relocate it on the door and just double size sticky tape it to the door. So basically it'll be somewhere on this door and I'm gonna show you that later. I might do a whole nother video on that. So those are, those, those are the options, okay? So basically those are, here's the five things. Show me what your truck's already equipped with. Do you want it behind the dash or under the seats? Where do you want your fold really? In the dash or on the door, okay? Those are the five big important things I need to know, okay? To build your harness specific to your truck. So other than that, um, I think that covered everything. That was a lot of info. Whew. These mirror harnesses were a big project, not a lot. There's 41 wires for everything. If you include the heat, I think it's 43. Yeah, so. Um, and they're going all over the truck. So, all right, we're already going eight minutes into this. I hope you guys retain some of this information that I'm trying to get out to you. So let's go ahead to the garage and I'll show you the first kit that I made. It's pretty slick, I'm not gonna lie. It took a lot of time. So, but we should be able to knock them out quick, hopefully. I've got everything down to the, down to the business, so. All right, guys, check out the kit. So, you got two, three kind of harnesses so this is the main one for the driver so it already pre-wired to the switch going to this one so this is all one harness and these are the wires that we're going to feed through the truck so basically we're going to spool this and then feed it through the driver door jam and this is the passenger side so we'll feed that one through the pass uh, through the jam and then basically you know most of them will meet in the middle you know cut and splice them and then some of them will come to this fold relay in the truck and if we're not doing the one in the dash in the truck this is the road the relay sitting in there this one will be on the door so then that'll be less wires you'll have to run if we got this on the door so those are the two options i'll tell you on the dash or on the door and then what was the second option i don't know let me show you the mirror so i got this wrecked mirror um but it still works i can use it for testing so so we got the lights going it's got everything running off this milwaukee just jerry rigged real quick for a demonstration and then uh check it out Got our telescope, and then we got our fold. So we got the fold relay hooked up, and then turn it to driver. So obviously the mirror's missing, but we'll go up, bring it back down, go to the left, bring it right. And what else? Run light, turn signal going. I think that's it. So, yeah, it works. But, um, 
these are the new harnesses I was able to get off a truck so I could get my correct lengths to get everything exactly perfect. And then uh, these are the connectors I was talking about, the door jam on why 07 and up guys, we can't feed no wires through there because we got this in the way. So unless I get these pins and you want to pull this out and pull the one out under the dash and repin it and get through that boot, kind of shit out of luck. So yeah, but other than that, Let's get this in the truck and see what it looks like. All right, guys. So back of the truck, um, we got our new harness sitting on the truck. Um, so this plug, the new 08 uh, 16 plug, will mount right back in the same spot on the 02 and up. So if you got a 9901, what you need to do is cut this little square out because your door doesn't have it, but the 02 and ups do. And it clicks right back in the same spot. We've got our switches ready to go up. You know, they're ready to be plugged in. They're already sitting in the right spot. They already want to party. So, um, the harness will pretty much sit like that on the door um, now that we know where we want it. And then basically, this long leads are going to be the ones that go through the door. So, pretty much going to feed each one of these bad boys through the door. And then uh, we'll go on the other side and we'll go do it over there. Um, other than that, uh, took a little longer. I went inside to go grab a flathead. Spent three hours talking to my parents about moving to Texas. And then all of a sudden we're on Zillow looking at houses and stuff because they want to get out of here and move down there too. So let me get these wires fed on this side. And then um, let me go over here. And uh, we got our passenger side harness right here. And uh, basically we're gonna feed that too. So I'm gonna go ahead and run them down this way. I'm gonna run them through the door jam. Another tip, a uh, little tip and trick when you're doing this, take the speaker out because then you can get your hand through here and then get it to that door jam a lot easier than coming through this hole and then you're like shooting blind and you're like, I don't know where it's at, where's the hole it is. And then we can get to the harness where it needs to be. So let me pop the speaker out. Okay, now that we got the speaker out, you can see the old harness coming through. Oh, easy access, baby. So, wiring's looking like a mess, but what I do is uh, get a long zip tie and I tape the wires to it. And that's how I feed it through the boot. Cause if you just try to stuff the wire in there, you're gonna have a bad day. So this is my little secret. Cause then I can wiggle it through and boom, pop it through. So let me do this for each wire and uh, I'll have these wires through the, through the cabinet in no time. But that's my secret. All right, guys, check it out. So, got a zip tie popping through. Got it going through the boot. Heck yeah. So then I can just take my zip tie and... Uh oh, oh whew, Thought I had that, that looped around that one. Thank God. So, pull it through and voila. So, what I'll do for the next set of wires is I'll tape them to these wires and just, you know, slowly piggyback each wire off each wire until I get them all through. So... Let me go ahead and uh, pull them all through. And uh, heck yeah, ready to party. All right guys, check it out. So we got each wire piggyback. So there's our two pink whites. And then I got our turn signal running lights taped there. And then our fold wires taped right there. So theoretically, I should just be able to pull the zip tie in it. All of them come through. The tape doesn't get one done. Oh, oh, look at that. Yeah, voila. So sometimes I get a little tangled up, so let's get those undone. Let's see. Pull this one through. Let's see. Pull the next one through. And then pull the orange one through. Pink one through. And just keep doing that until you get them all. And boom, people, that's how you get wires through the cab. So, heck yeah. So, a little tip and trick. So, all right, well, I gotta go to dinner. We'll be back. We're gonna knock this sucker out. All right, guys, we're back on this. Um, ended up getting late last night, so we didn't jump back on it, but we're back on it now. So, on our driver's side, we got our wires through. Um, and now I'm gonna go over to the passenger side. Let me pull those ones through. And then uh, we get to start putting stuff together. And hopefully, I'm hoping rather quick, 
this harness will be done. You know, now we did all the leg work in the garage the other night. I'm hoping this kit is just, you know, take you an hour, you got it in there. So let me, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna go over there, let me get that done and we're gonna start plugging stuff and putting wires together. All right guys, we're on the passenger door. So um, I feel like the passenger door is the easiest. You got less going on. There ain't no switches over here for the mirrors. So um, went ahead, we got our new, our new plug on here. You can see I got my wiring running down, looping down. And make sure you got it looping through the right holes. So I've done it before where I mounted, mounted it all, run it through the door. I've got my new wires coming through and notice I didn't loop it through the right hole. And I'm like, well, now we gotta take one of the ends off or something like that. So make sure you guys got it route in the correct way. So now that I've got it on the door, got it running through the door. Um, next up, now we get to start cutting and splicing. So um, I like to utilize all the factory wiring that's already on the truck. You know, there's no reason to run two wires to do the same thing. So this guy on his old mirror plug, you can see he's got three wires. So he's got up and down and the common wire that's shared between them both. So we got three wires. And now on my new plug, I got three wires too. So the, that's just a cut and splice job. So then boom, our new new one will be in there and I just have to splice these three wires and then I can tape all this up, make it look all pretty. And then we'll come into the truck and start cutting and splicing what needs to go where. So let me, let me wrap up this whole door. And we'll, this door will be pretty much complete wiring wise. So let me get to work, I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we got it all wrapped up. Got the electrical all door done on this passenger side. So I got them all done. I got it all back where it's supposed to go. Um, got it all running at the bottom of the door, looping it up, bringing it in to the new plug. Got it all clipped into the door, looking pretty. So uh, we got it going through the boot. We got the boot back in place. And now I've got my harness taped up and it's coming through the firewall. So these would be ready to be, you know, cut and splice in. So other than that, um, let's head to the driver door and uh, let's get the driver door in the same situation. Okay guys, now we're on the driver door. So we've got our new harness, you know, already running through the door, already kind of in place where it needs to be. So what I did right here was um, I zip tied it where it needs to be. So the old harness doesn't shift on the new harness and move around so that, you know, when I tape it all back up, everything is the correct length. So um now what we're gonna do is you want to take care of the, ba the the basics first the adjustable mirrors you, you know that's that's the basics let's start with that because all the fold and telescope and all that stuff all the stuff we're adding you know like the lights that's all gonna happen inside the cab so let's get the doors wrapped up and we'll move inside so what i have right here this is off the the new harness i made so you got you know your power and ground right there and then you got your three adjustable wires that go to the passenger side and so those wires are already in this wiring so what we need to do is cut and splice these back into the old wiring so now we can have power and adjust that passenger side now the driver side adjustable side is already taken care of i've already taken care of that on the harness now you saw that when we were on the table messing with that little test mirror that i have so these are the old wires that we have left over and um this green orange is your 12 volt on 02 to 07 now 99 to 01 it's green and yellow so keep that in mind other than that all the wiring is the same so you've got you've got the yellow for that common wire and that common wire runs everywhere and then you've got your your up and down your left and right on that purple and green so we just need to go ahead and take our, our two power wires negative positive and our three adjustable wires and cut them splice them into our wires and then and then we can go ahead and tape all this up moving into, into the into the truck so basically what i'm deleting is the old plug and the old mirror because we don't need those anymore so because we already replaced them we already got them built so i'm gonna go ahead and cut and splice this make it look pretty like the passenger side go the next step all right guys so we got the drive door wire all done uh so we got it coming up here in one beautiful looking harness coming up coming there uh we got our mirror switch plugs ready to party we got our new mirror plug ready to go and then uh, we got our window switch and lock ready to go. So the wiring for this door is all done. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna slap the new speaker in. Uh, let me see if I can get you an angle. Um, it's a little dark in there, but the wiring's going up through here. We got it going through the boot and now we got them coming out here. So now I can uh, put that speaker on and uh, we can actually start running stuff in the truck. So 
Heck yeah. Uh, let's get this done. Okay guys, so now we got this door all wrapped up. Looks good, looks real good. You know, we got our tweeter wire running up here. Um, now I'm gonna make a little adapter for his old mirror until he gets new ones. But other than that, once he gets new ones, he'll be able to just run the four bolts up here and then he'll be able to plug and play. Super awesome. So now that we've got the door 100% wrapped up, um, I mean, honestly, we can slap a door panel on there and it's ready to go. But I do door panels last because I don't want to be scratching them while I'm pulling, you know, seats and dashes in and out. So door panel is ready to go. So um, next step, um, now that we've got our wires inside the cab, I'm gonna go ahead and run the pigtail for the fold relay. This guy, now this guy sits in the dash. Um, it sits probably about right there in the dash. So we need this plug to be able to, it almost pretty much reaches the door jam, but I give it about six inches of play because you know, maybe you gotta wrap it around the dash a little bit or something, but I really don't need that pigtail to be that long. So that's where these three pins come into play. So you got your fold, oh wait, no, sorry. The gray one's the fold, and then your green and purple is what actually goes to the mirrors for the fold. That's actually what controls the motor. So that's where this pigtail comes in handy. This is what plugs into that fold relay. And as you can see, it's got, you know, power and ground. So we got that. So we need to run that power and ground. And then we also need to put these pins into this plug. So let me pin it accordingly. And then uh, we're gonna start running some wire to the other side for the other mirrors. So this pigtail is probably the easiest thing you're gonna do. Okay, guys, so um, I got the pigtail for the fold relay ready to go. So it'll be sitting, it'll just be chilling there ready for the dash to come in and we can just plug it in. So now with all my extra wires that I have here, I'm gonna show you what we got. So these two are for your turn signal and your running light. And now we got our positive and our ground for the fold relay. And then this is for our telescope and this is for our fold. So these are all ones that need to run to the middle of the truck. So basically I'm gonna add a body plug for the dash to run the turn signals and the running lights. So I need both of the turn signals from both sides to meet right here. And then other than that, this is the fold and, and telescope for the passenger side. So these, these long wires need to run across the truck <clears throat> and we'll meet them in the middle. So what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start running it parallel to the body harness. I'm gonna start running it along and then I'm gonna drop the turn signal and the, the running light this way. And then I'm gonna take, well, I'm not gonna loop it down. I'm gonna go straight across. And then the, the telescope and fold for the passenger side, I'm gonna meet, have them meet right there. And we're gonna cut and splice them into those ones. So let me go ahead and let me let me get the harness till about right here. And then we're gonna go to the other side. So other than that, um, I pull back this black plastic piece. Um, what it does is just loops into here. So if you just lift up, it'll pull out. And then you can get up behind the harness. So heck yeah. Okay guys, so now I've got the wiring you know, coming through the door jam. We got our pigtail for the telescope, or I mean for the fold ready. I got the wiring coming up to here. And now what I'm gonna do is I need power to go to that fold relay. So I'm gonna get my red wire for, for the fold and I'm gonna come down here with these plugs. Now this, this wire right here, this is what powers the mirrors up. So I need to tap into this wire. So I'm gonna take this loom off and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap into it right there. So we, now we got power going to our fold. And then uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this ground. I undid some of the tape. We got a ground wire right there. So I'm gonna tap this ground into that one. So now we got our power and grounds going. And then the rest of these wires, the brown's gonna, and uh, my orange for the turn signal is gonna go down that way. And then these four wires are gonna go to that mirror. So let me go ahead and get in here. Uh, one, one more wire I'm gonna add, not mirror related, is for the backup cam, for the, the for the, for the uh for the stereo so this black and pink wire is a backup wire so i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and tap into that i'm gonna add that to right now while we're here so let me go ahead let me get this all situated let me tap this positive right here to the orange light green and let me ground out this wire and then uh tape it up and uh we'll get to right here and i'll show you the next step okay guys i figured i'd show you while we got it here so you know what i'm talking about so Right here, um, I'm adding a backup wire for the, the camera on the stereo. So it's not mirror related, but now's a good time to do it. So I got it tapped right here into this. It's brown pink, I think actually. I don't know, it looks black pink, but that's our backup wire. And I got it running here and it's coming down. 
So basically I'm gonna add a body plug that'll mount, that'll plug into the dash. So we don't have to run any wiring when we do the backup cam. And now I came here and I've tapped into the ground. So now we got our ground wire. And now right here, we got our positive wire for the, the fold on the mirror. So now that we got our little fold plug got power, now we're gonna finish running these wires. So let me get them all taped up and uh, we'll get to crack a lacking. Okay guys, we got it all wrapped up, looking nice and pretty. Um, yeah, looking good. Got this all taped back up. Got them all running this way. And now I left my backup wire and my turn signal running light coming this way. So now we get to go over here. We're gonna run our four wires for our fold and telescope passenger side. And we're gonna run them over there and cut them and splice them to the same. So you can see it's still the pink, white, and the green, purple. If you can't figure out what needs to go to what, you probably shouldn't be doing this. And then uh, we'll be able to tape it up and we'll have one nice, beautiful harness. Now I'm gonna bring that yellow and brown and bring it this way and also drop it down here for the dash. So it's pretty simple. Um, this is probably the easiest, simplest part. And uh, let me go ahead and take care of it. All right guys, so came over here and uh, I soldered and heat shrinked all the wires. Um, I accidentally snipped this green one too short, so I did extend it. Um, but yeah, we got them. Uh, we got our telescope soldered in. We got our fold uh, soldered in, and now these are for the turn signal running lights. We're gonna run those to our new plug. So now, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna run my tape on there, and then uh, we'll come over there and we'll make that look all pretty. So heck yeah, guys! Are pre pretty much the mirrors are wired in right now. Okay, guys, I got it all looking nice and pretty. It's got some tape holding it. I'm gonna uh, figure out a way to mount it on there. Got the wires running this way and then down here. So now just looking at these real quick, you know, I got my driver turn, my passenger turn, my backup wire, and then my running lights. Now for the running lights, they go to the same place. So I just, I, I put them together so that when I do my little connector thing, I'm just down to one wire. But other than that guys, uh, I think everything is in for the mirrors. I'm pretty stoked on it. So um, I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, uh, let's go grab that junk mirror. Let's plug it in, let's get a mirror switch. Uh, let's run some 12 volt to these things and uh, let's see if the mirror works. Okay guys, so check it out. Um, went ahead and grabbed that junk mirror. Just got it plugged right into our plug. Uh, went ahead and got the switch going. Went ahead and uh, I ran a jumper to the windows, which is that light blue black, just for shits and giggles. Heck yeah. No. Um, oh, yeah, I don't have that mirror switch or window switch plugged in, so none of the other windows will work, I guess. Um, so what am I going to show you? Oh, I'm going to show you the mirrors work. So got our mirror switch plugged in. So this is your telescope. So let's see. What? Sorry. So the cord's a little short, so I got to hold it with my leg, but we'll fold it. Oh, wait. That's all right, I have it on adjustability. So when you do the fold, you gotta make sure the switch is centered. Not on. Hell yeah. And then uh, switch it to adjustability. So we want it to go down. Bring it back up. Let's bring it towards me. Take it back. Boom, mirror works. And then, um, oh, I hooked up the running light and turn signal. So, yep, those look lit up. Hell yeah. And then, uh, what else I gotta show you? I don't know, I mean, telescope, fold, pretty much everything, so. Other than that, um, maybe we'll go plug it in on that side and make sure everything works too. Okay guys, I got the mirror sitting over there. Um, there's our fold relay plugged in. I think I forgot to show you that, so. Let's see, make sure the telescope works. So I want it to go out. Oh wait, I, no, now I want it. yeah, there we go. Okay, I have it right. Oh yeah, and then uh, make it fold. Hell yeah. All right, let's see, we'll make sure we got the mirror going right. We have to go down. Yep, bring it back up. Bring it towards me. Yep, push it out. Hell yeah, and you can see the lights are working. So other than that, I think we got, I think that covers everything on the full power mirror, so. You know, we got a new plug, got our new plugs and switch, got everything running through there to over there and down to there to the switch. So, hell yeah, guys, I'm freaking stoked. So, um, oh, so right here I got jumpers going to each turn signal and running light and then the backup light. 
So these backup lights better be on. Oh, yep. That's how we know we got that backup wire. So basically when you put it in reverse, it'll send a signal to the stereo. So other than that, I think we're good to go, guys. I'm excited. So doors 100% wired up. And uh, other than that, stay tuned. Um, I got to go run some errands and uh, maybe uh, we'll wrap up these doors and I'll, we'll talk about the new door latches and all that stuff. And then just wrap these doors up. So I'll catch you all later. Hope this video wasn't too confusing. Um, you know, basically this is, this is the main kit I'm going to do behind the dash. The second kit is you're going to bring them down this way and they'll shoot that way and do the exact same thing. And then instead of having that solder meetup spot there, maybe we'll have it over here. And then instead of the fold relay being here, we'll double side sticky tape it there. So, adios.